Hi, I'm Captain Larry Bell with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. Down here in Spalding Bight, all the way down here in this corner, you got three or four little back lakes that are dumping out here. Work your topwaters up against the shoreline early. Look for your bait working in this area. There are some scattered redfish in this area. You'll have to work for them to get them. The bite's kind of funny right now. And then as the day progresses, start moving out over the deeper grass to find your trout. These scattered reefs out here in front of Allen's, all through here, up over here like this. Throw your, your down south off these work in the shell, work in the deeper ends of it. Uh, the darker down south, like your magic grass, your LaRue salt sassies, have been working well. Texas roach has been working pretty well as well. Uh, you can throw a glide shrimp by marker 54. Your burner shads from down south have been working really well in this area, and you'll find scattered trout through all these reefs that are in here. Back down in Italian Bend, deeper grass. Look for, the, look for your trout in that four to six foot of water later in the morning time. Uh, you can throw your top waters up against the shoreline here. There's a lot of water that's pushed in here right now. Just pay attention to your tides. But your uh, darker down south, like Magic Grass, uh, LaRue Salt Sassy, Purple Rain, it's done really well back in this area here finding your trout. Say, Matt. Mm -hmm. Back here in Copano Creek, a lot of scattered shell back in here, so be careful when you roll your boat back in here. You jump out and wade. It's pretty soft back in here, but you've got a topwater city back in this very back here in the corner. There's some redfish that are working back here. There's a few trout that are scattered in here. Look for your grass, look for some bait that's working in here, and you'll find your fish. Air's dugout, this big reef that runs all the way across here. Big shell bar. Make sure that you watch yourself when you roll up in here and don't try to run across it because you will hurt yourself and you will hurt your boat. But that said, get as close as you can, power pole down and jump out and start walking this thing and wading it. Throw you some top waters on top of it. You'll find a few redfish that are scattered across it, but as you work in deeper water, throwing your darker down south, burner shads, uh, your glide shrimps. Working out here, you'll find some nice trout that are hanging out here on this deeper edge. Thanks for watching. I'm Captain Larry Bell.